G'day guys, welcome back to True Footy. Uh, it has just come to my attention, you can now vote on the AFL 22 under 22 team for 2024. So if you're unaware, this is like the one, well, yeah, I think the one thing in the AFL that's decided by the fans. Does that ruin the integrity of it? Absolutely, absolutely it does. But just so you know, you can go vote for it. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. I'm gonna to pick my team for the 22 under 22. Uh, again, an important clarification on this. This is based on the 2024 season's performance, um, specifically this year. And it's not so much a, a projection of talent. I think if it was a projection of, of like which 22 players you'd like to steal and form a side of, it'd probably look a little bit different. We need to have a bias towards how well they've gone this year and the, the actual complete player that they are at this current point in time. And it's really tricky. No one is able to watch the AFL completely evenly. So we're all gonna have little ignorances and little biases, but nonetheless, it's fun. And I've had a brief look at it. There's some players you just forget uh, under the age of 22. So let's get into it. As you can see here, you can go to vote22under22.com.au if you want to fill out your own team. So how it works is we've got to pick six defenders um, and then obviously do the same thing for every other position and then pick a bench as well. And these are the players that I have to choose from. So picking six defenders from this list, who is the first standout candidate that you pick out? I think Max Holmes, um, you know, I think he's been unreal, absolute walk-up start. I'm actually tempted to include Mac Andrew here. If you look at the list here, there's not too many genuine tall defenders and I kind of want to keep some list balance. I think that's important. It doesn't make you pick like two key defenders, but Mac Andrew, I think what he's done this year is an intercept player. And then most recently floating forward a bit, particularly against West Coast, I think he's a gem and absolutely should be picked in this team. Um, but you see, there's not a lot of other tall defenders. I don't think Max Michael Annie, as good as he is, is genuinely a key back. I suppose Josh Draper probably is. Um, but other than that, they're all running sort of defenders. Um, Naziah, probably the next lock I'd have. Fantastic season. I've kind of lost track of how his season's gone. I know he started the year extremely well. I haven't really been following him that closely, which is why this gets a little bit tricky. But I know that like halfway through the year, he was rated the best field kick in the competition. So he's a star, absolute star. Um, so who we got next? I'm going to pick my boy Brady Hoff, and I know that will probably ruffle some feathers because I'd imagine Brady Hoff is one of those players that nobody outside of West Coast knows is good, but he has been unbelievable on small forwards this year and does damage the other way as well. But primarily as a stopper, he's just hit 50 games. He's been unreal. So on 2024 performance, he's a walk-up start, and I won't hear anything against him. So we've got two spots left, and um, this one is getting tricky. So McKerch is in there. Um... Is he as good this year? Bearing in mind, this is not talent. If we're basing it on talent, I'd probably pick Weddle and McKercher. But it, on 2024 performance, this gets a bit more even. I actually just remembered Darcy Wilmot's there. I think he's had a fantastic season, backing up a year where he came third in the Rising Star last year. Um, he's been fantastic. Again, I think you have to pick him. So who am I considering for this next spot? I mean, Draper, did Draper just get a Rising Star nomination? He's been good. McKercher's had games where he's been outstanding. But Judd McVie has been good. Michelani, Weddle, even Yulin's had a good year. I'm kind of considering between McVie, Michelani, and Weddle. That's where I'm leaning toward at this current point in time. I might go Michelani, bearing in mind I can pick one of Weddle and McVie for the bench. I suppose we'll get to that. But I think that's probably my best six. Mac Andrew and Michelani are not true key defenders. You know, they're more intercept players, but. Um, I think I'm going to go with that. I think that's based on the performance of this year. Let's let's move on to the midfield. All right, what sort of prospects have we got here? There's a lot going on. There's a lot of names to pick from, but there's some standout, unbelievable plays in here that you forget are under 22 because they're probably going to be all Australians. So Nick Dacos, for me, has to be the first selection. Uh, I get to pick five, naturally. Errol Goulden, boom. So those two, unbelievable players. Now, I do notice Sheasel's here. But I believe when you click it, you can pick him as a forward. So I think I'm going to pick him as a forward because I think there's a few other options here. Same thing with Ollie Dempsey. I'm probably going to pick him as a forward. He's had an outrageous year. So let's leave it there. Jason Horn Francis has also had a very good year. Good, strong, linear improvement for a guy that could be and should be an A-plus player somewhere down the line. I think he is a walk-up start to this team. Bearing in mind, we're picking it as well on performance this year. Um, I don't know how many people this is going to annoy. I think Harley Reid is a walk-up start this year as well. That could be, amongst a few others, that could be like the big four in a few years. Like, unbelievable. But Harley's had a fantastic year. 
probably has had some quiet games, but I think in his quiet games, he still makes West Coast a better team with all his little death movements. And I think we're a couple of weeks removed from the Derby where he had 10 clearances. Absolutely unbelievable player. So we've got one midfield spot left. Bearing in mind, I'm not picking Sheasel from the midfield, not picking Dempsey. Um, we've got Callahan. We've got Tanner Bruns had a good year. Jinby probably hasn't had the best year in the midfield. Uh, I think in 12 months' time, he's probably making this team as a defender. I think he's made some progress there. You know, Windsor's looked really good. Tom Powell. Tom Powell and Jake Saligo might be the two I'm genuinely considering here. And I think I'm going to lead towards Saligo. He's one of the best, most improved players in the competition um, on that wing, I think he plays primarily. Um, yeah, I think on performance of this year, Jake Saligo definitely deserves that spot. There's a few unlucky ones there. So we'll move on to the forwards. Oh, no, we've got a ruck spot. Okay. Well, this one as a pure ruck, I think Luke Jackson clearly takes the cake. But Sam Darcy probably could still make this team as a forward. He's more of a forward ruck. And I don't have too many options here. Luke Jackson, I think, is the clear choice here. I think his year start to the season was better than what he's produced since. Um, but, you know, still an outrageously good player and definitely a comfortable choice for the ruck spot. So forward line. Now, this is stacked with talent. Who have we got? So I did say that I was going to pick Sheasel. Uh, is Sheasel still there? Yes, good. That would have been heartbreaking if he wasn't. Uh, so Sheasel, I think, makes his team. And I think Jamar has kicked 39 goals from 18 games this year. He's been fantastic, um, as has Josh Tracy. Where is Josh Tracy? Yeah, I think Tracy makes his team. I think he's ranking fairly high on the Coleman. Um, you know, I didn't think it was a chance. I think, remember there was a video earlier this year. I was like, nah, Tracy won't go top five in the Coleman. I'm not sure exactly where he sits, but he's come out of nowhere, and I'm very impressed with him. I think Ollie Dempsey also makes this team. Fantastic season. And again, I think, I presume another late draft beat that Geelong's unearthed, and um, he's been fantastic. And Probably a good chance for the Rising Star. That's a video in itself, but we'll get there. Um, who else we got here? Who am I seriously considering from this list? I think Ginevan's had a really good year. I think, you know, his best games are fantastic. He's used consistent as a Kai Lohman. Um, I mean, Jai Amos could also make this list again. Probably not as good as last year, but still fantastic. Sam Darcy. I kind of want to pick Sam Darcy as my bench ruck. So I might do that. Um, so we got Rochelle. Um, I don't think Van Royen or Hollands or Logan. Um, and I do like Paul Curtis. I don't know if he's seriously a shot here. Uh, I might pick Amos. I think Amos as a genuine key forward, bearing in mind Sam Darcy, still going to make this team. But Hugo Hagen, Amos, Tracy. Jeez, Fremantle's got some tall talent, don't they? That sickens me. And the last spot in my 22 on the field, I think... Gee, I want to pick Connor McDonald. I want to pick Ginevan. I also want to pick Rochelle, but I think Lohman, I think he's kicked a bit more than a goal a game. Again, a very improved player for the Brisbane Lions. One of their, probably their most improved. So that's probably the way I'm going to go. And again, it's probably, you know, positionally and style, a genuine small forward there. She's was a bit more of a forward mid. Uh, I guess you got Dempsey as a forward mid as well. And then three talls. I think there's a nice balance to that. So I'm happy with that. So who else have we got here? We got at the bench. This is going to be tough. So I'm going to pick a form format here, right? I'm going to pick a defender, two midfielders, and a forward to make it fair. So who who did we say we were picking for the back line? It was Weddle, and it was Judd McVee. I think I might go McVee. I'm sorry, I am a fan of Weddle, and I think long-term projection, I'd probably rather steal Weddle. I think McVee's probably more, you know, in his role right now currently. That's the sort of player he's going to end up being, I think. Uh, whereas Weddle, I think, as an athlete, projects much more as somebody who could really impact potentially in the midfield on the wing. I think I think McVie has him covered on this year. But again, we don't watch all these games equally. It's like literally impossible. So two midfielders I've got to pick now. Um, who else have we got here? So Wardlaw stands out. It's probably one of the best. Um, I think he's absolutely unreal out at the moment. Um which is probably worth considering. Like, if he doesn't play again, I'm not saying he won't play again this year, but does that factor into it? Vote? Well, I suppose we're just voting on it now, aren't we? Um, Finn Callahan's also had a very good year. Um, who else are we considering for the midfield? McCurcher, maybe. I th I th I'd still probably give it to Callahan uh, as the next best midfielder, just scanning my options here. Tanner Braun as well, a highlight, has had a good year. But I think I'm going to go Finn Callahan. I think he has been better. So Wardlaw, Callahan. So, oh yeah, that just leaves Sam Darcy. Um, Sam Darcy is, is always going to make this team, but I just think for balance, I'd probably have him as second ruck forward. And I think that the mix of Amos, Hugo Hagen, 
and Tracy all deserve to be in this team. So rather than pick a fourth forward, I'd put Sam Darcy as my bench forward ruck. So that's that. I think you can still pick a captain. Oh, here we go. This is the team in, in totality. So Holmes, Andrew, Wanganin, Miller, Hoff, Wilmot, and Michael Annie. Probably the player I was second guessing was Michael Annie. I mean, he's been fantastic, but he was probably the one that I could switch out for somebody else. Um, as for the midfielders, I think those are all locks. I don't think there's any doubt on those five. I think Soligo absolutely deserves to be there. And I think that, that look, Dacos, Gordon, Francis, Horn Francis and Reed, um, And then, you know, I could have picked Sheasel as the fifth midfielder and I decided not to. So uh, Jackson is the Ruckman, that makes sense. Damn good forward line. You, Hagen, Tracy, Amos, Dempsey, Sheasel and Lohman. I think I'm happy with that. We do get to select the captains before we go. And I think I'm going to go Harry Sheasel as the captain. I think he's already in North's leadership group. I'm not sure if Dacos is in Collingwood's, but he's probably who I'm going to go as the vice because I think he just oozes leadership. Um, and I think... As a pair, those two would be unreal captains. So confirm. All right, I'll, I won't fill out my details in front of you. <laughs> Let me just get out my credit card. But there you go. That is my take on the 22 under 22. I'm sure that's going to ruffle some feathers. Like I said, um, it's hard to just be across the entire league evenly. That's going off what I've seen, and I'm pretty comfortable with that. But let me know in the comments what you agree with and disagree with, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers.